coming up today on Afternoon Live, we are sharing the secrets to wearing white past Labor Day. You know, they say wearing white after Labor Day is a fashion taboo, but our first guest has the secrets to extending the life of your favorite white clothes, shoes, and accessories into the cooler seasons with style. So we welcome to the show personal stylist Roxanne Carney is with us today. Roxanne, look at you. <laughs> Gorgeous. I, yeah, all year round you can wear that. Hi, Kara. Hi, good yes. to see you. It's so good to be here. And yes, you're so right. A lot of people think that, gosh, after Labor Day, I can't rock white anymore until next summer. And that is so not true. And I'm really excited to share some tips on how we can really take that color into the fall with us and still look fabulous. And yeah, extend the life, the life of our clothes. Well, you know, I have to say, when our producer said to me today, Chloe was like, can you wear white anymore? And I can't imagine to wear with this white. So I pulled off the simple, the white shirt, because I was like, that's OK. I'm, I'm doing this right. But it's hard to know what kind of is fashion yeah. taboo or not after that certain time of the year, after summer. Right. And no, I will say, Kara, you look fabulous. You went with the classic route, which you can never do wrong with. But um, but there are other fun ways that you can incorporate white for the fall season. And uh, where I want to start, actually, I want to share with you, if you take a core item like a pair of white jeans, a pair of white skinny jeans, what you can do in the fall is pair it with keep two things in mind now. Pair it with pieces that offer nice texture and also some autumnal or fall colors. So for example, we've got this really pretty eggplant colored um, sleeveless knit, mock turtleneck sleeveless. As you can see, we've got some nice warmth and texture on the top, but it really pairs nicely with the white jean. So you have this as an option. And you can also work in some cashmere. So. I love cashmere. Cashmere is great for the fall because it's not super, super thick like wool, but then also it breathes. So we have a beautiful cowl neck uh, cashmere sweater in a light brown. And again, you can see how nicely it contrasts against the white jean. So cashmere definitely works. And when we think about fall and texture, you cannot forget about leather, right? Mm -hmm. So getting in a you know cool leather jacket this is a slightly cropped leather jacket with a round neck um very very soft and supple but again see how it pops against that white jean you can totally make this pairing work for fall no oh, i love it what are some big <laughs> no-nos when it comes to wearing those white jeans at this time of year yeah so i would say probably not to pair it with maybe white denim on top, right? We don't wanna do kind of denim from head to toe. And also denim jackets in white definitely scream summer. So I wouldn't wanna do that. And then also on the top, maybe staying away from linen garments, particularly that are white as well, because that really, really gives off that summer vibe. And it's not really the right aesthetic for fall. Right, love it. Such great tips. Your next one is wear white with contrasting color black. Is that right? Yes, okay. that's right. So I really was excited to show this piece today. So this is a gorgeous graphic um, kind of look here, contrasting white and black, another sleeveless top, a little bit of a peplum waist. But this one is awesome because in this current season, bl particularly black and white color blocking is trending heavily. So when you've got the white paired against the black, it projects more and it really does stand out. So that's why contrasting with white and black is always a good idea. No, that's a good, that's such a pretty top, too. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> what about this soft white color? Yeah, so that's actually what I'm wearing today. So kind of the A crew, um, what we call winter white. Um, when you take the white and soften it a little bit, it gives you a lot more warmth. And as you can see here, I've got a full monochromatic look. So I have this white um, kind of a polyester blend. It's actually a dress, but I styled it as a long duster because it works. It's a maxi length, but I got it paired with a cami and also some very, very soft white uh, jeans, wide leg jeans that have a little bit of fringe on the bottom. So rocking the monochromatic look can be a really easy way to kind of, you know, add a little elegance to your fall, but also because it's a softer white, it just warms things up a little bit. But I like how you added the belt as the touch to a little more fall yes. looking belt. Yes, and I actually have another item I wanna show you here. 
So if we take that same idea, like if I wanted to warm it up even more and maybe break away from the monochromatic look, I can add a beautiful classic traditional trench coat on top, but then have, here's a leopard print, right? So here's another belt that we can pop in to add some flair and also to break things up a little bit. Yeah, I love that. So cool. Now the white <laughs> shoes too. You're saying pull off these accessories. Yes, accessories, accessories, accessories. So I'm wearing some um, some white pumps today, as you can see here. But here we go with some other white options. So Chelsea boots. We love Chelsea boots for the fall, but you can totally wear a Chelsea boot in the color white. Again, this is a softer winter white. And, um, you know, the thing I like about this is that if you consider the white as your pop of color, even though it's a neutral, if you're wearing other colors, the white can be the, the accent piece that really brings attention. So white Chelsea boot is a great way to do this, as well as, you know, we got to have our comfortable kicks, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so having comfortable sneakers, nice platform, all white, again, can be a nice pop of color against what you're wearing. And even that black and white contrast. I love those shoes down there. Yeah, so I had... <laughs> I didn't include these. I had the black and white contrast with the top, but yeah, these shoes are new for fall. And as you can see here, it is contrasted with white and black. Again, that's what's really trending heavily this season. And you know, how cool is it to put it in a shoe yeah. and have that be your accent piece? I want you to be able to show off this last outfit because we just have about a minute left, but I see the white fur. <laughs> yes. Okay. So accessorizing, right? We don't have to limit it to just shoes and handbags, but this is a really, really fun feather crop jacket. So I have it paired just over a lovely, simple black sheep dress, but this is a way that we can step out and have fun, especially in this post-pandemic world, right? We want to show a bit of our personality, and what better way to do that than to rock feathers and then in white? <laughs> no, I love it. So cute. Oh, my goodness. Such cute things. Roxanne, thank you so much. Absolutely, Kara. Thank you so much for having me. And I hope these tips help uh, your viewers on how they can wear white throughout the fall and winter season for 2021. Absolutely, they do. Now we just need to know how to clean it. <laughs> Thanks, Roxanne. <Right. laughs> Thank you. Right. Well, more information about Roxanne and these tips on our website at kat.com. But just a short break, and we will be right back.